Welcome once again to Spotlight in the River. Once again, we have the opportunity to bring in a guest and, and really talk about those spotlight events that are, that are happening all over Indian River County. And the beauty about Indian River County is not just one segment, it's all segments. Felsmere, Oslo, Bureau Beach, Indian River Shores, uh, Orchid, Gifford, Sebastian, I, I can go on and on. But my, my point is that this spotlight Though it may shine on a particular entity or community now, it may shine in a different area later on. But I just happen to have with me the Feds Mayor Police Chief, uh, Chief Keith Tushberry. And I got it right that time. Absolutely. All right, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's my pleasure uh, to be here. I'm glad you accepted it and when you readily said, yes, I'll be there. And, and, and the reason I wanted you to come is called, because my experiences uh, in being with you when I first met you was at uh, Gifford Youth Achievement Center, which was then Gifford Youth Activity Center. Mm -hmm. and we had a bully symposium, mm -hmm. uh, the Indian River County Citizen Advisory Group, which is a group that uh, tried to accent and highlight the eels are bullying, and we had as our guest presenter, she's Touchberry, and man, did you impress me. I said, Thank wow, uh, a person who has a grip on not only the problem, mm -hmm. but some solutions that apply to sure. those problems. That's very sure. important, because many times people can give you some problems. Yes, As a leader, really. I'm sure you get a lot of problems brought to you. Yeah. Uh, my, my boss at, at my job put out what she called not, not a suggestion block box, she, mm -hmm. asked, she put out a solution box. Exactly. And so that's good. So when you bring a solution, you not only have the problem, but you all have, have a remedy to rectify that. So, right. and that's why I enjoyed that. But again, I got an opportunity to meet with him in Thesmer, uh at a Bridges Out of Poverty mm -hmm. Symposium. Man, was that enlightening. Yes. And then you came back to Gifford and did a presentation there on Bridges uh, Out of po Poverty to some of our community leaders. Yes. So, so we, we kind of been hooked at the hips. I go to places right. where there's uh, kids at Hope uh -huh. uh, for the actual, uh, what is that, Tunnel of Hope. Tunnel of Hope. And, right. and, and it's just magnificent to see those kids light up. So I'm, I, I'm giving a long preview of things that I've experienced with mm -hmm. Chief uh, Touchberry, but I, I want to get down to one topic. Mm -hmm. And other things will come from that. And that topic mm -hmm. is, how do you build a relationship uh, uh, with individuals? What are some of those components that you use as a leader? Right, absolutely. Well, relationships is, is how we succeed. And, and, and no police department can be successful without those relationships. You know, the philosophy of the, of the Felsmer Police Department is very simple. It takes a community to police a community. Oh, and I haven't the, heard that one. That's a well, good one. And, and the reason why is because crime is a social problem. Okay. Uh, there are so many different reasons why crimes occur, so many different theories, and, and those theories involve every aspect and component of our community. And so because the police are just one solution to dealing with crime, mm -hmm. you know, we have to look at what other potential solutions are out there uh, and then work together with those, uh, those entities or groups or organizations that can help implement those solutions. Uh, but it doesn't happen over time. Mm -hmm. um, and we were talking before we started uh, the show today about how, you know, building trust is important. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't just trust anybody that they don't have a relationship with. And that's very, that's very, very important. And I want to dig a little deeper when you said that uh, the, the police department is only one component, one solution. Mm -hmm. right. And I want you to think about it. We're going to take a station break, and I want to come back and talk more about how the other components fit in. It's a puzzle. So today's show sounds like it's going to be a puzzle. We're going to put it together <laughs> with different segments of the community to show how we can have a unified effort at the end, okay? Very good. We're going to take a break and come back and talk more with Chief Touchberry, mm. Fels Mayor, Chief of Police. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. The fun is happening at Vero Social Club on North US 1, where friends meet for bingo every Tuesday and Thursday. Doors open at 10, with luncheon served, and the games begin at noon. Then Vero Social Club opens up the dance floor. Thursday nights for social dancing. And weekends, Vero Social Club eats up. Check the website for Latin night special events. And each Sunday, dance to hip hop all night long. Go to VeroSocialClub.com. Vero's number one party destination. Vero Social Club, 7500 North US 1. One-of-a-kind videos, unique perspectives, original programming, only on Buzz TV Network. Spread the word and tell a friend.
Be back once again, and I tell you, Chief Touchberry has already started putting together a puzzle, and he came out with one component already. He said that the police department and Felsmere is one solution, one portion of that solution. And I want to go back to you on that. Let's, let's name some other things. You, you put a little small, I call a, a subtopic, mm -hmm. upon the solutions. You said trust. Right. So in order to find solutions, these different entities, and, I, and one has been mentioned here, the police department, right. have to form that trust. Right. Now, what, how do you go about doing that? What do you do when you want to have the community involved? I ask for that involvement. I pick up the phone mm -hmm. and I and I call uh, leaders in our community and I say, yeah, listen, we, we deal with the same folks in a variety of different circumstances. And uh, therefore, we share the same problems. We share the same hopes. We, we share the same good times and bad okay. because we deal with the same uh, people in our community. So why don't we come together and collaborate on uh, issues, problems, and concerns, and, and then let's collaborate on solutions. And one institution uh, mm -hmm. may have, uh, you know, the answer, or another one might. But okay. we don't know what's going on, or what's available, or or what might be the best mm -hmm. way to deal with an issue, together. unless we collaborate and come up with those those ideas. Why, why is that so simple when you say it? But to get it done, sometimes it's so difficult. I, I think it's because it involves human beings who are so <laughs> driven on what they have to do and how they have to focus right. and, and and so forth. But um, when you, there, there's an old saying, and it's not mine, but I remembered it to this day, uh, many hands make light work. Mm. So if everyone comes together to address an issue or a problem, and they're all chipping in to get it done, then it makes it that much easier. Wow. And ultimately, the solutions are turkey. And I'll give you an example. We have an organization in Felsmer called the Felsmer Action Community Team. Okay. And over the past, uh, in fact is the acronym, mm -hmm. over the past uh, several weeks, we've had some emails circulate around about families in need for, for, for a home. One person was had some issues and have uh, six children. Mm -hmm. And in another case, it was a senior and his wife and, and they're a veteran. One email to the distribution list on how we can solve this problem generated dozens of emails on here are potential solutions. Wow. And while this is not typically mm -hmm. a traditional crime problem, right. but the police department is involved because I would rather spend the time it takes to prevent a crime than to investigate and solve Correct. a crime. Mm -hmm. And so if a person doesn't have a home, for example, mm -hmm. if they're homeless, then they may resort to uh, committing crimes to sustain themselves. So and, true, so and, true. And we don't want to see that. So let's help in the beginning so we can prevent the work that would have to be done on the on, down the road. So that's saying, you say many hands make, make light work. I, I got that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a great one. And, and believe it or not, that individual who, who are in need of housing had a heavy load to bear. Absolutely. But by facts, this group, and it stands for Felsmere Fel Action, Action Community Team. Community team. Right. Okay, I like that also. So that team came together and mm -hmm. emails began to come in. I, I had a similar search, a certain, a situation, rather, uh, that came in a, a young man needed some help with his hearing aid. Mm -hmm. And I did a blast out to the community mm -hmm. and within a day's time, the hearing aid monies were there and he, there he was go. taken care of. And that's what it's all about. We're gonna take another break and come back. I'm, I'm just getting pumped up when I, as I talk <laughs> the chief, chief and I over the same uh, fa fabric. We, we will see a, uh, a situation, and if we don't have the answer to it, we'll try to find someone who can, who can help. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. We're going to talk more about this great, great trust issue that we have in our community. Attention. This important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare Supplement Insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare Supplement Insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare Supplement team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. We can also help you find the right Medicare Supplement policy from the best insurance companies around. So if you or someone you know is about to turn 65 years or older, call Nation's Helpline today. Don't spend more than you have to on Medicare Supplement Insurance. Call Nation's Helpline today and find out how easy it is to protect the ones you love. Even if you already have Medicare, this is a program for you. The call and quote is free and there are no obligations. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. That is 800-632-2804. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics. 
in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all, from color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or even death. Call Jacoby and Myers today. You may be entitled to compensation. You won't pay a thing unless your case is settled. Please call 800-378-0160. We're back once again, and I tell you, off the air, we had such good stuff going. I said, hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't, don't give it all. You know, give me some now. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. You have shown through example mm -hmm. that we're not just talking a good talk. Right. But we actually put it into action. Right. And you were sharing how involved the Felsman Police Department is. Mm -hmm. Give me some of those instances that you were, were elaborating on. Right, absolutely. Well, uh, the Felsman Police Department is a member of the Felsman Action Community Team. And it's actually a group we help form because we want our community to see the police as part of the solution, not part of the problem. And let's, let's look at what's happening nationwide with incidents involving violence. Uh, a real or perceived excessive use of force by the police. Uh, there's been an erosion in trust, but mm -hmm. just because there is an erosion in trust in some communities doesn't mean that we can't trust the police in all communities. Right. But some folks who feel uh, that they have an anti-police uh, sentiment or bias or what have you, uh, will take that as an opportunity or an excuse to act out in a manner that is simply not lawful and they're, and they're just using that as a springboard to, to, to bring about you know, issues for the police nationwide. And we can't judge uh, all police departments no. by the actions of one or a few. No. You know, there are bad police officers in America because there are bad human beings. We all are It doesn't beings. mean that all <laughs> police officers are bad. Exactly, I'm so, glad you made that point. Thank you, mm -hmm. and and the re so what we do is is we try to partner with every initiative, be, in, be a part of everything that's going on at Felsmer, so people see that we're not just uh, those uh, folks that, you know, take someone to jail mm -hmm. or issue traffic citations mm -hmm. or what have you. Will we do our job? Sure. That's what That's we're paid, what paid to, do. to do. We mm -hmm. we are here to protect our communities. But along the way we're gonna we're gonna hand out food to you through mm -hmm. a food distribution line or we're gonna coordinate uh, with a, a local boys and girls club mm -hmm. and, and and create a baseball team all right you know and these are things Good. that we're doing in Felsman so that and that steps outside of the just doing your regular job which is law enforcement mm -hmm. you have to do your job but it, it gives some uh, humanistic qualities to what you do also yes to show that I'm here mm -hmm. to help you as an individual in need. I'm here to, I'll even park your car while you, you're over there mm -hmm. uh, getting the food uh, uh, boxed up. Mm -hmm. I, I help to uh, direct you to a place where you can get clothing for your sure. kids, sure. a place where you can get health uh, uh, treatment for your children. Exactly. And, and that really, that's going beyond the call of duty. And that's what we all as Americans, mm -hmm. as human beings, need to step outside of our box and begin to cross over into territory that we may have never uh, treaded before. Right. And that is what builds trust because it's yes. not that you're standing over here and say somebody need to help over there in that situation. Right. Well, that somebody could be you. Exactly. And it's, it's an opportune time for you to do it because then they say, wow, did you see what Chief, Chief Touchberry mm -hmm. did? Mm -hmm. He actually came over and helped pass out food to the, to the people. Sure. In, and that paints a picture. What I was saying too, they say people don't care how much you say you care. But they care how much you really care. Exactly. Uh, something to that vein. And they need to see it. They need to see it. Right. It's an action word, and, and caring is an action word. Right. So I appreciate that. We're going to take another break and mm -hmm. come back and talk more. I want to give you a thought a little bit. I want to put some more uh, characteristics beneath trust and, and ways that we can continue what we're doing in Indian River County to build that trust. Okay? Absolutely. So we're going to take a break. And as we think about some things, let's see how many you can come up with <laughs> so we can see whose list is the longest. Mm. Let's see. Stay tuned. If you or someone you love is suffering from addiction to drugs or alcohol, National Rehab Recovery has an important message for you. 
Each year, we lose hundreds of thousands of our family members and loved ones to drug and alcohol-induced causes. If you have insurance or the ability to pay for 30 days of treatment, National Rehab Recovery can change your life. Medicare and Medicaid are not accepted at this time. The call and confidential consultation is free. 1-800-577-5446. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. We're having fun talking about a great word, and this word really uh, is a part of our country's foundation. It, it talks about in God we trust. Mm -hmm. why? 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 Why do we trust? We trust because we have found something, uh, some quality in that individual or in that situation right. that, that, that relates to what I'm going through. Right. I trust you because I've seen you do some things that a person has to have trust, has mm -hmm. to have compassion, has to have the ability to share with me on my level. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that's another point. That trust must be on what? Their yeah, level. Exactly. You just can't exactly. say, well, I did this here. You shouldn't be in that predicament. Right. Right. You just made the situation worse. Absolutely. So give me a few more things upon that, that trust that you're doing I'm, right. through your experiences sure, sure. that you're doing in Felsberg that we can also do here in Indian River County and abroad. Well, it's not enough to initiate the relationship to build that trust. You have to maintain that relationship. Mm. And once you initiate it, uh, and you know you get going, but you you to maintain it, you have to meet on a regular basis. All okay. right. Uh, and I'll give you an example. We have a neighborhood in, in Felsmere that we meet monthly, and we talk about issues and concerns and problems. And we also talk about the good things, and mm -hmm. we just communicate, and we be open about that level of communication. And um, when issues or concerns are brought to the attention of the police department or government because we have elected mm -hmm. officials and city manager also attends the meetings, okay. then we, we go and we address those issues. And then when we come back and meet again, we give feedback on those things that we talked about last oh. time. So, for example, the things that we've been able to accomplish in this neighborhood, we've through the citizens' involvement, we've lowered the speed limit from 30 to 20 miles per okay. hour because okay. there was a concern with that. Right. Uh, we've improved the, the cleanup of the park because we were having issues with trash and litter and so forth. We were having some security issues in one of the bathrooms and through our meetings we were able to to work our way through those problems and and now we're able to keep the bathrooms okay. open when we've had to lock them down mm -hmm. because they're there for the community right right so so the point I'm trying to make is that once you initiate you have to maintain, maintain. and the best way to maintain is to meet regularly have consistent and thorough follow-up and and follow through mm -hmm. and if you can do things and accomplish things together then do it and if you can't then everybody understands why Mm -hmm. But you be transparent along the way. I like that. And and then and then people will say, well, you know what? The, the, you know, from the people's standpoint, the government is here to help. Mm -hmm. Or we can't trust the police. I mean, look what they they did and they helped and they didn't and whatever. And so that's really the core of of, of any type of relationship. I think. I like one thing you you, you said at the beginning of your your uh, uh, overview. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that when they come to these meetings, they can bring their concerns. Mm -hmm. And once you bring those concerns, those concerns may not be addressed at that particular meeting, right? but will give the, the person who uh, may be involved in resolving that concern right. the opportunity to go back and research and then bring it back to the next meeting. Right, and maybe have a solution, mm -hmm. and, and that's how you build that trust, because last meeting we said this, they went back and they ah. looked at it, they brought it back, they fixed the problem. I feel like I can trust that person. That's good. And once we get that trust and maintain that trust, uh, but it's nonstop. It has right. to continue every time we meet, mm -hmm. and it has to be consistent always for it to be effective. That is fantastic. I want to talk about a couple more. You talked about another word you brought up, transparency, mm -hmm. and you also talk, talked about maintaining. So I'm, okay. I'm going to take a break. We're going to come. Those are good words. I like those words. Okay. okay. We're going to come back and talk more with Chief Touchberry after these messages. Stay tuned. For more than 30 years, Bay Street Pharmacy has been your neighborhood pharmacy and one-stop health care center, offering prompt personal service, home delivery, and a dedicated staff that treats our customers like family with care and compassion. Bay Street Pharmacy, where caring people care for you.
We're talking with Chief Tushberry, and I tell you, I am so happy to see that some of the things that we're doing in the Gifford area, mm -hmm. I, I think I'm in your meeting because we use mm -hmm. the same philosophy and making sure that people do receive a uh, resolution to some of their situations mm -hmm. or circumstances. Uh, Sheriff Lohr is very proactive mm -hmm. uh, having his, his deputies there. Yes, uh, yes. Even the uh, code enforcement, mm -hmm. uh, the state attorney's office, whatever entity mm -hmm. uh, that has a concern brought to them are given the opportunity to also come back. But you said something when we were off the air that I want to make sure that we say in front of the, the camera and our viewer and the audience. And you talked about this the slogan you have about community. It mm -hmm. takes a community mm -hmm. to police, police a community. Right. How can that come about? What does the community have to do? Exactly. It, it goes both ways. It's not just a reliance on government being, uh, you know, the actual city or county mm -hmm. and law enforcement, but a dependence on one another. And uh, this, this is a good segue into a new program that we've, we're, we're in the process of creating. And it deal, it's called the Police Partners Program. Okay. We want to partner with the community, but, and, but here's how you can fulfill your end of the bargain. Mm. And uh, it's through what we call the PORT method. PORT means, uh, P means protect yourself. Mm -hmm. okay? O means obey the law. R means report crime. Mm -hmm. And T means testify. <laughs> and, and I can break that down. Protecting yourself comes in a lot of different ways, but mm -hmm. that's a mental and a physical process mm -hmm. on how to protect yourself. Obeying the law, well, this is something that we expect or hope everyone mm -hmm. to do. But it, obeying the law also stems from a knowledge of the law. Mm -hmm. So the more knowledge you have about the law and police procedures, the mm -hmm. more you'll understand the behavior that's expected, and the more you'll be able to trust the police based on what you see them doing or right. not doing. Right. And we have a lot okay. of concerns with that. Mm -hmm. uh, R is report crime. Uh, let's face it, you know, crime happens all around us. You have got to let us know that it's going on. And if you don't, we can't do anything about exactly. it. And if you're going to complain about the crime rate, well, if you don't report it, and, and it erodes the public trust in the police because the crime's so high, well, why didn't you report, report it? it. Mm -hmm. And then finally, testify. Yes. And, and this is where Americans fail right. every time is they will not bear witness when called to testify. Right. I don't have time for court. I got my car back, so I don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. I don't want to prosecute, right. whatever. And the problem we're having as a result is if criminals are not held accountable for their actions by their fellow citizens, mm -hmm. they become emboldened right. and they will continue to offend. And, and one thing I like to share with our communities is a, very, is a statement made by the Attorney General of the United States of America in 1962, Robert F. Kennedy, mm -hmm. in a, about a 26-page report on organized crime in America. He made a very compelling statement. He said, uh, society gets the kind of law enforcement it insists on. This is actually the second half mm -hmm. of the statement. But society gets the kind of criminal it deserves. And that's very compelling. Mm. We can insist on law enforcement being better. We want you to wear body cameras. We want right. you to do this, racial profiling, whatever. And we understand mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And we want to police ourselves. But if we don't report crime and bear witness when called to testify, <laughs> we will get the kind of criminal we deserve. Right. And no police force in America can fix that problem. Okay. Wow. Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> We're going to take another break and come back with our final segment. And I tell you, I am really elated that Chief Touchberry chose to come today. And I hope he'll gather this information that will help you to be a better citizen and be a part of this community policing he's talking about. Stay tuned. We're going to come right back after these messages. During the course of the past 100 years, Advancements in technology have dramatically changed forever the manner in which people worldwide interact and now connect and communicate with one another. Welcome, Buzz TV. We're so glad you joined us for this segment of a Spotlight in the River. And I tell you, I have really, really appreciated the fact that I have Chief Touchberry here to give us some, some pointers, a little food for thought mm -hmm. that we can take with us in our communities all over Indian River County. When one part of Indian River County has something that worked, share it so the other parts can also adapt to that, mm -hmm. that success. So we actually right now be, be, a, be more engaged in your community and, mm -hmm. and don't let people tell you by mm -hmm. coming forth with 
crimes that you see or witness that you're a snitch. No, you're not a snitch. Mm -hmm. You're a concerned citizen who's concerned about your surroundings. Mm -hmm. And, and, and how, 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 much, how much do you get that type of mindset that if I, if I testify, or if, I, right. I, if I come forth, um, right. I, 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 have, I fear for my life, yeah. what, what, what do you get? We, we do get some of that, and mm -hmm. that actually is a, a good reference to the Bridges Out of Poverty model that we talked about. You know, a lot of times people who victimize others are within a, a community or a neighborhood and they know one another. And the thing about Bridges is it teaches us to understand those hidden rules of class. Mm -hmm. And and the, one of the, you know, when dealing with the poverty class or the lower class, whatever term is used, mm -hmm. to understand is that the, the ability to, th to, to plan ahead because you have the resources to plan is not as great as if you're in the middle or the upper, upper class. class. Right. So some of those resources that you rely on in, in the poverty class are people who you are people primarily. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know, I fix your car, you watch my kids. Right. Okay, you did this down the street and I know you committed that crime, but you know, I fix your car, you watch my kids. So I, even though saw that crime, I'm not gonna report that because I'm impacted right. as a result. I got you. And so Bridges Out of Poverty helps law enforcement understand that very important uh, hidden rule of class, if you will, and, and how we have to address it or deal with that mindset as a result. Um, it's going to take time and effort to deal with those things. And then the opposite is we do get that, that criminal mindset that no snitches get stitches. Right. And I am not ratting on this person mm -hmm. or that person. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they have that mindset of philosophy. And, and that's a little harder to change, but uh, we're working on both of them. But it goes back to what we began with from the beginning. We talked about what? Trust. Trust. And I think in River County, Fesmail like Gifford, Wabasa, Oslo, Drew Beach, Sebastian, Orkin, right. all those places are beginning to see the movement of that trust. Yes. Uh, when we had a reconciliation uh, summit out to Church of God, 58th mm -hmm. Avenue, uh, a couple of Saturdays ago, mm -hmm. it really showed me that people in River County are not just talking, no, that's getting they're better. Doing. They're doing. They're doing. And that's a fantastic uh, thing to see. It is. Well, thank you so much. I, I, I really appreciate you. And what we're doing here, we're going to continue to move forward with it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that we can get somebody uh, in each neighborhood. I'm sure you have you in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We do in Gifford. But with every neighborhood needs someone who will be that that catalyst to keep this burning. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's going to take a group. It's the, what is the old saying? Take teamwork yeah. to make the dream work. That's right. So we're going to have to continue to do that. And I'm happy to see that Fez Mayor is really leading the charge. I, I see you. a lot of great things you guys are doing that. Teddy yeah. loves you all out there. <laughs> Teddy said, man, Fez Mayor, they're doing this. we got to do that. So he keeps us abreast. So continue to do that. Okay? Yeah. We're very fortunate to have you and all the community leaders, leaders in Gifford assisting Felsmere the way that you do. Well, thank you. And we're also fortunate to have Teddy. He's we're in it together, <laughs> as he is. And to you, our viewing yeah. audience, you're a part of this team also. Yeah. And as we always say, you can either be a part of the problem or you can be a part of the solution. We want you to be a part of that solution. Engage, gain the trust, build those relationships, and we'll make our Indy River County the best county in the world. Stay tuned till next time. I'll see you. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money.